Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. In this video, I've got five tips, five things that I wish I had known when I started fishing for catfish. Folks, hindsight is 2020. It's easy to look back and say, hey, I would have done things differently. That's true of anything we do in life. Fishing is no different. Just like with a job, your education, or a relationship, there are many things to learn along the way. Now many folks want to learn on their own. They want to make their own mistakes. They want to figure it out. But some folks, like myself, like to get a few helpful tips to make that journey a little bit smoother. These are all mistakes I have made myself. So hopefully by sharing them with you, I can make your time on the water a little more productive, maybe help you catch some more fish, and maybe even save you some money. Well, lesson number one is a simple one. You don't need a whole lot of big, heavy, crazy, expensive tackle to catch catfish. Like many people, when I started out fishing for catfish, I bought some big, heavy, bulky, expensive gear, thinking that I was gonna need this to catch catfish. I somehow thought that the bigger the gear, the heavier the gear, well, the more likely it was to catch a big catfish. The truth is you can catch some really good catfish and a lot of catfish with some simple, inexpensive tackle that you buy at Walmart. Yes, folks, today I use some of the best fishing rods around, like these Hellcat rods that I got here. But you do not have to have this kind of gear when you start out chasing catfish. Listen, folks, the bottom line is this. You're better off buying some gear that is affordable, having some money left over so you can buy gas, bait, and food so that you can go fishing than you are to spend every bit of money you got on some expensive gear and you got to sit at home and wait for the next paycheck to come in. Well, folks, lesson number two stems from the reason a lot of us fish for catfish, and that's because they're one of the biggest freshwater fish that we have the chance of catching. Most of us go out trying to pursue and catch a big catfish, the ones like we've seen in the magazines and online. But the truth is, they're not everywhere. Now, catfish are one of the most widely distributed fish in the United States, and you can find them in almost every state. But big fish, trophy fish, the large ones, are somewhat hard to come by. Now, where are these giant catfish? Well, generally speaking, the larger bodies of water will have these fish. And what I mean by that is, if you're fishing a municipal pond or you've got a little pond on your college campus, you're probably not gonna have really big catfish in those waters. Your larger rivers, the Mississippi River, Ohio River, Missouri River, the Tennessee River, these are big, massive bodies of water and are much more likely to hold trophy fish. Now, the reasons for this are simple. One is because the bodies of water are so large, they hold a lot more fish. Another very important factor with these larger bodies of water is they've got enough to eat. For fish to get big, it has to have a lot to eat, and these bigger bodies of water will generally have more forage. They will have more shad and other fish that these bigger fish need to get to these epic proportions. The bottom line is this, folks. Keep your expectations realistic for big fish and for large numbers of fish in relation to how big of a body of water you have access to. Now, my third lesson, well, it's about one of the most talked about topics uh, among anyone who fishes for catfish, and that's catfish bait. Catfish bait can lead to a lot of stress, worry, and thought for folks that fish for catfish professionally and for folks that are new to catching catfish. I see the question all the time online, on Facebook, and different groups, what's the best catfish bait? Well, guys, the cold hard truth is there is no best catfish bait. The best catfish bait is the one that just caught the last fish you caught. But with that said, there are some lessons and tips that I can give you that will help you reduce your stress level on your next trip when it comes to finding catfish bait. Generally speaking, wherever you fish anywhere in the country, one of the best baits to go with is something that comes out of the body of water that you're fishing in. Now, if it's legal where you fish, these laws vary by state. Bluegill, shad, even largemouth bass can make an excellent catfish bait. Now the problem there, obviously, is you have to catch those fish first. So that can present some problems when you're heading out one afternoon, you wanna go catch some fish, and you just wanna get out on the water and start fishing immediately. 
in those situations, it's hard to beat chicken breast. If you watch any of my videos, I've been using this stuff for a couple of years now. I was reluctant to use it whenever I first started fishing for catfish, but the catfish have taught me a lesson and at least on the bodies of water that I fish and countless bodies of water around the country where people have reported back to me their success, it's hard to beat as a quick, easy, accessible catfish bait, especially for a short notice trip. Now, if you wanna spend some time catching some bluegill, catching some shad, you can do that too. But you can go to the waterway that you're fishing knowing you've got bait and you're ready to fish when you get there. In my opinion, I think chicken breast is a much better alternative than chicken liver, which is cheaper, uh, but it's a lot harder to keep it on the hook. And I think it's a much better alternative than some of the prepared manufactured baits. Lesson number four I've learned is stop trying to fish the deepest part of the body of water that you're fishing in. If you spent any time fishing for catfish, you've heard people say, I caught him in that deep hole in the river or the lake. And while sometimes this can be one of the better places to fish, too many times, many of us get preoccupied with finding the deepest water that we can fish in. Bank anglers, myself included, are preoccupied with casting out to the deepest water that they can hit. The cold hard truth is, many times they are probably throwing over fish that are feeding, hungry, and willing to take their bait. Even in the heat of summer and the cold of winter, don't overlook shallow water for catching catfish. My suggestion to you guys that are fishing on the bank, always put a couple of lines up and down the bank, maybe 20, 30 feet off the bank, because you never know what kind of fish are cruising through those areas feeding on shad and bluegill. Number five, don't focus on fishing at night for catfish. If you talk to anybody about fishing for catfish, especially those that don't fish for them a lot, they're gonna say, you need to go at night. That's when catfish feed. Folks, that blanket statement is simply not true. Yes, there are times when fishing for catfish at night is better. There are times at night when you will catch more fish and you will catch bigger fish. But the bottom line is this, it is not the only time to focus on fishing for catfish. Now, nighttime does offer some great advantages. One, in the summertime, it's a heck of a lot cooler being out there at night. Another thing is, it may be the only time you can go. If your job does not permit you to fish during the day and you can only go at night, don't let it stop you. Get out there and fish. Another thing that is a good point about night fishing, especially in the summertime when the lakes, rivers, and waterways are crowded is, well, getting access, getting out on the water, boat traffic, all of that is a lot less when fishing at night. Bottom line is this, don't get fixated on fishing at night for catfish. It's not the only time that you can catch them. As a matter of fact, in many situations, it may be the worst time. If it's the only time you got to go, then go. But don't put off fishing during the day thinking that nighttime is the only time to catch a catfish. 